We've got three quick and easy projects for you using napkins and fusion decoupage and transfer gel. Hey guys, today we're going to do a really quick tutorial using fusion decoupage and transfer gel, paper napkins. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do some sneakers, how to decoupage napkins on a board. We'll do a little lampshade as well. First, you'll need to grab yourself a pair of sneakers right from the closet, or you can buy some new ones at any big box store. And you'll need a couple of paper napkins, an X-Acto knife, some little scissors, and your decoupage medium. The napkins are either two or three ply, so you'll want to ruffle the edge a little bit and separate the plies by pulling them away from each other. And this is what we're going to work with, that top thin layer. Now keep in mind that these are going to be transparent once I wet them and apply the decoupage medium. So I prefer a light colored background. We do have kits available at ellenjgoods.com. The kits include six sets of two napkins to total 12, an X-Acto knife, and a sample size bottle of Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. We'll send you a nice variety of napkins. I'm going to take a brush, apply my Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel over the whole surface, avoiding the trim. So I just wanna get right up close these areas here. I had never seen decoupage sneakers until I saw my friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy doing them. Let it dry for a bit. I've let this sit for about 15 minutes. And now I'm applying another coat. And here is my napkin. So you'll want to have some scissors handy and your X-Acto knife. And I want to lay this on here so that I am overlapping the edge. Trim away any excess. And then clip into the napkin around any curved areas to help the napkin to lay flatter. If you've ever sewn before, you'll understand what we mean by clipping the curves. Gently pat the napkin into place And then using a balled up piece of plastic wrap, gently press the wrinkles and bubbles out of the napkin as you work the napkin onto the sneaker and into that decoupage medium. Then let your sneaker dry completely. Our napkin is dry. It is adhered. There's a few little spots where it's bubbled up, but I can always add more decoupage medium to that and it'll soak right into the napkin and adhere it. Now I'll take the X-Acto knife and I'm going to very carefully work my way around the rubber sole so that I create a really nice edge. You don't, you don't want to apply so much pressure that you're going to cut through and into the canvas or into the rubber. Take your time. With my knife, I can feel right along that ridge. And just trim as I go. You can scrape off any little stuck bits with your X-Acto knife. 
Then apply an additional two to three coats of decoupage medium over your entire project, allowing the coats to dry between each one. There's a link in the description box below for a kit to complete your own sneakers. This is a wood board. It has a whitewash on it. Because the napkins are sheer and transparent when they get wet, anything that's in the background is gonna show through. So I've given that a layer of decoupage and transfer gel. Let's put some butterflies on that. Again, what I wanna do is separate my napkins into three layers, pull away the two layers that are on there. You don't want to handle them too much. I'm using plastic wrap, just wad it up into a ball to press this into place. There will be a few wrinkles and bubbles. Most of those will disappear, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to give this more of an aged appearance anyway by sanding it later. Now right here where I have cut off my butterfly, I'm just going to use my thumb while this is still wet and remove those butterflies that are along the edge. There we go. And what you can do, you can even cut out butterflies or we can just tear this as I want to. I don't want any cut edges to be inside of my project. Okay, so I'll lay down my, I'm going to lay down my medium. There where I had my little tear, it's okay, because you don't even notice it. those edges really just about disappear. Now let your project dry. I'm going to take a worn sanding block. I'm going to sand the edges of my board and the decoupage paper sands right away in a nice even strip. Now I'm gonna seal this whole piece with my Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. If you want to, you can also apply a clear polycrylic sealer. Once you get this completely sealed, then you can go back and you can wax it, or you can add any other special effects. You could stamp over this. I am using this little bit of vinyl lettering that I created and I'm going to apply this right over to This is a little lampshade that I found. I want to do this technique, I'm either going to 
cut out shapes to apply or I want to pick an overall pattern. I'm gonna lay my napkin on there and start to press it in place lightly. I'll come back with the saran wrap in a minute. But again, I'm gonna cut into the napkin so that I can make it go around my lampshade as much as possible. Now, as I begin to shape this around, you can see that it almost makes like a pleat here. So I'm gonna cut this right out. It's like a dart when you're sewing. Work your way around the lampshade, fitting in the napkin where you need to, and cutting strips out and adding extra strips in to fill in gaps. sanding block to sand along the edge. Yesterday, there was sun and there was when your project is dry, add another one to two additional coats of your decoupage medium or fusion tough coat to seal. water-based gel that we use. So you will get a little bit of bubbling, but then it's going to actually settle right back down and those bubbles and wrinkles kind of suck back down in. You can find the supplies that I use for all of these projects at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. For more inspiration, you can find us on Instagram and on Facebook and here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button so that you receive all of our free tutorials to create your own home decor and unique projects.